Hey guys, good morning. So, uh, Rosario is at work. I haven't had a therapy since last Friday because then I had the biopsy and I was trying to take it easy and then I wound up with the, actually the pleural pain that night, Monday night, and it's Thursday. So I'm just doing some light um, hands therapy, staying away from the area where I'm having the pleurisy pain. It is um, a lot better, but I notice as the prednisone wears off each day before the next dose, it um, starts going back to what it was, but not as bad. So we are making improvements. I know it just could take some time, so I'm not going to go near this whole area because when you're inflamed, you don't want to be uh, doing a therapy and making it worse. But so I'm just going to work on this side a bit. And um, yeah, that's it. I know Rosario would be like, why aren't you waiting for me to do it? Or why didn't you let me do it and tell me earlier? I just thought of it now. So it's really not a big deal. I'm thankful I have the strength to uh, to do it at the moment. The prednisone is still working well <laughs> right now. So hi vlog, I'm back. I did a very light therapy on myself earlier and uh, we just finished eating a little something. And now we're just doing some errands. Rosario is in the card store here and it's all so and it's also a post office drop off. So he had to drop a few things off and he said he had to get a couple of things in there. So, uh, yeah. Oh, the gates are going down now. <clears throat> he made it just in time, but we're gonna go to uh, the Italian specialty supermarket after this and get um, a bunch of things for Christmas Eve and Christmas. And um, yeah, just looking forward to cooking that stuff. I think it's something we'll enjoy. And that's what's really going on. They close at 9 at 7.30. Probably won't get there till 8. So at least we go at the end. It'll be nice and quiet, hopefully. But then I don't know. The Italians may be out like us and uh, fighting for the fish and uh, everything else. Who knows? <laughs> well, guys, nothing like some late night pancakes. Yeah, these are actually looking pretty good. Don't mind my stove. I have to clean it. But um, yeah. I feel it's like I clean too. the stove every day because I'm always splattering something. But they're nice and fluffy, well. yeah. Nice, that? yeah. But anyway, anyway, we opens gifts with Rosario's parents on um, FaceTime. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> uh, we're both a mess. It's been a really long week, as you guys know. I explained to you yesterday, and I think a little today. But anyway, um, we're alive and we're happy. Yep. Thank God, and uh, I'm feeling better, and that's the most important thing. But yeah, we got to open some gifts with Rosario's parents on. FaceTime, we figured while I felt well, I was starting to feel better tonight. We don't know how I feel tomorrow because, you know, each day just changes for us. And um, yeah, it was really nice to see them. And uh, it was just really nice watching each other open up the gifts that we got one another and, you know, giving each other things that we'll enjoy. And so, yeah, it was a really nice time. But uh, making the best of everything and um, just uh, being thankful to be here and that our family and friends are okay. And so... Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. And uh, I hope you guys have a good night. Merry Christmas Eve. Yeah, Merry Christmas Eve. You ready to say good night, Jax? We're going to go to sleep, all right? Say good night, everybody. Thank you for watching us. Merry Christmas Eve. Hi, guys. It is Christmas Eve. We are in the kitchen. We're upstairs by my mother's. And uh, I'm making some risotto with calamari and um, shrimp. And yeah, I think that's gonna be delicious. We have an arugula salad Rosario's working on. And uh, then we're gonna make some sauteed spinach with garlic and oil. And uh, my mother went nuts and made tons of cookies. So yeah, it's gonna be delicious. And then uh, I guess tomorrow, God willing, also is a new day. So yeah, let the festivities begin. It's still pandemic style. So unfortunately we won't be with the rest of our family, but um. Yeah, we're just thankful to be here. All right, guys. Don't forget your white wine. It gives the risotto just a delicious taste. Guys, this little man is waiting for his dinner. I'm going to put a couple little pieces of shrimp on top of his food, and I think he's going to really enjoy that. Right, Jackson? You could play. But anyway, um, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. I put a cover over here just to cover it a bit, and uh, looks really good. Right, nothing crazy, but Christmas Eve dinner is served. We got risotto with spinach, shrimp, and calamari. We got some arugula salad, all homemade. And then, yeah, I took the easy way out, and I just got some peppers 
artichoke hearts, you know, marinated and marinated mushrooms in case we just want to pick on a little something. Well, guys, one, Christmas Eve dollars. dinner was delicious. Oh, can you win $2 on some win for life? Nope. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> We have a bunch of other chances here, so let's see. Let's see. Jackson, you ready to go to bed now? Say so we had a really nice Christmas Eve, everyone. Yes, it's been really good. I had a lot of fun watching everybody open up some presents. Tomorrow's another day. We're going to do it again. And uh, hopefully I get some tea again. Good night, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Jackson, you ready for your food? Here, check out these salmons in here. Yeah, look at that. Yummy. Jackson's going to have a little taste. I'm going to take a little of the seasoning off of him, put it with a little sweet potato, and he's going to have his Christmas snack, right? Then you have dinner later. you good boy. Merrily in the new old-fashioned way. Well, I don't know if you call this dinner or lunch. It's just the first course, but uh, it looks really professional. Yeah. Yeah. It looks really yes. Nice. What's yours? Oh, nice. Packed away. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What is that? Go ahead. Go ahead. I wonder if you take it out of the paper. Yeah. Did you as monkey? Go ahead, go get it. Go ahead, go ahead. It's not going to hurt you. <gasps> Say thank you, Grandma. <laughs> what? <gasps> Grandma got you. Oh, boy. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> Should I take it out? Jackson, what is that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, I want to grab these too. Be careful because the front, if you turn them upside down, those front cars will come out of the. Okay, the sauce is done, and the ravioli are gonna come out in another minute. But mm, I can't wait. Well, guys, Christmas is over. We still celebrate the Christmas season until January 6th, usually. But, um, yeah, so crazy. Time is flying. But I hope you guys had a really nice Christmas. And uh, we're just having some cookies and coffee, and then we're going to get to bed. Yeah, my mother likes to make homemade cookies every Christmas, and we look forward to it. So, But, um, yeah, we're just going to – I'm going to have one more. I only had two. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys had a great holiday. And, uh, God willing, I hope you guys have a great new year. But we'll see you soon. Good night. Thanks for watching. Good night. Hello, vlog. It's been a while since I actually vlogged. I think the last time I may have vlogged was, um, possibly the day after Christmas on Sunday. But, um, yeah, these last, uh, couple of weeks have been rough. And I explained to you guys that I had pleurisy pain last week, the week before Christmas. Every time I inhaled and then I um, was on prednisone, steroids, and that helped a lot and I felt better. And then it was late Sunday night, I started to have this chest pain again. So um, since my doctor gave me just a really short course of prednisone, she decided to put me back on it. And um, it really didn't do much. I was set up today for a um, CAT scan, which I went to do just to make sure there was nothing else going on. And um, as I was leaving the house, I noticed I had these blisters on my chest and my back. And um, turns out it's shingles. And um, let me tell you, when people say shingles are painful, they're very painful. I've been in excruciating pain for um, a couple of days now and uh, maybe even longer. But I didn't even pick up the camera and say anything to you guys because... Uh, I was just resting a lot and just trying to deal with the pain. But anyway, um, they started me on an antiviral medication. So hopefully that'll help clear things up a bit and just keep an eye on everything. But I'm just resting and even laying down is difficult with uh, 
with these shingles, I get like these, it's like a dull pain and then I get these sharp pains and then like some tightening on my chest on and off actually quite a bit. And so yeah, it's just very uncomfortable, very hard to sleep. And um, so yeah, just doing my best to deal with it and see from here, but this does happen to transplant patients due to us being so immune compromised. Um, from what I believe that chicken pox, the virus, um, can get reactivated when you're immune compromised and therefore it comes out as uh, shingles. And so, yeah, it's pretty painful, but um, I feel like, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we're figuring out what was causing the pain for the most part, but um, yeah, it's just like, it just stinks. Especially like that Rosario has off of work for, you know, this whole Christmas break. And um, of course I have to be sick, but um, yeah, thank God I'm doing okay. And so uh, we'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, I think it's been at least 24 hours since I seen you. Um, the past 24 hours have been pretty much a lot of it a blur for me. Um, yeah, I'm just getting over this, uh, well, not getting over it, but I'm just uh, going through this shingles thing. And um, yeah, I had to wind up taking some medications to help with the pain because it was really severe. And so I'm taking some nerve blocking medication, some gabapentin, and uh, then I also have pain meds and Kate as a backup, and then I'm on an antiviral medication to help with that. So I'm um, feeling a bit better as of now. I hope that it continues like this and I'll continue to take the meds and everything. And um, yeah, just keep you guys updated. But in case I don't see you guys, um, I hope you guys have a very happy new year. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. And um, yeah, I can't believe we're finishing up 2021 already. It's just been crazy. But um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you soon. Hi guys, happy New Year's Eve. I had to take a little rest before I was in some pain. I took some meds. And I'm doing okay at the moment. My blood pressure was a little low, but I uh, think I'm right. Um, so I'm back in the kitchen. I'm making some delicious sauce with scongeli, which uh, in English it's conch. And we're going to have some pasta with that. Uh, it is New Year's Eve, so uh, happy New Year to all of you. And uh, I hope it's a happy and healthy year for all of you guys. May you have a blessed year ahead. And um, yeah, we're also going to make some fried ravioli later on and some fried calamari. Just have that as a snack and uh yeah it's really what's going on here nothing crazy just trying to recover and cook a bit I took a little break, guys, from cooking. Uh, I was just feeling a little drained. But anyway, Rosario's inside. He's handling everything well. And um, on TV was Secret Life of Pets 2. We love those movies. They're really just hysterical and so cute. And uh, little man here, as I just showed you guys, he loves watching doggy stuff. And uh, so, yeah, he's watching his scheduled program. Well... New Year's Eve dinner is served. I can't believe I just said that. New Year's Eve dinner. Wow. It's almost the new year. These are delicious. Oh as we wait for the ball to drop, another hour to go. Whoa. It went to the door. <laughs> okay, we got our Asti. Couple there. of minutes. Two minutes till the new year. Yes. Jackson's all ready with his grandma, right? <laughs> <laughs> We got 15, 14, 13, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Jack! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Love you too! Love you too! Oh, this is good. Happy New Year to you guys. Happy New Year. I was just saying you shouldn't carry um your issues from last year into the new year. However, Shingles doesn't care. <laughs> it does not give a crap. It's coming with Jill. It's coming with me for now, but um, yeah, we're alive and that's the important thing. And yeah. just feeling blessed to see another year. Definitely. Another January 1st. 
everybody. Happy New Year. See you next time.